I'm Arthur Molinari as a product development engineer for Nike Golf. Excellent. And I've Excellent. been working on this for the past five years. Excellent. Um, and so the difference between these two specs, yeah. they have the essentially is the same chassis, so the same core, mm. the same outer core, the same mantle. Yep. The only difference is the cover hardness. So wow. the S is actually the softest injected urethane cover ever released. Right. And then the X is a little bit harder, so so um, basically the chassis itself, we've reduced the spin off the driver mm -hmm. and then increased the spin off the wedge so we have a steeper spin slope relative to you know your normal uh, rubber core balls. And by changing the cover hardness, we're just shifting that up. So if you want the maximum spin, which is the S off your half wedge shots, you know, you really want to back it up, then we shifted that up. But for people who want a little bit more forgiveness, a little bit more distance off their drives, we've shifted that spin slope down. So relative to an old ball like the 2 or D, the right. X is still going to spin a lot more around the green, but it's going to be a little bit lower spin off the driver. And then relative to the 2 or the S is going to spin about 200 RPM more around the green, but 150 RPM less off the driver. Wow. Tour accuracy when Tiger switched to that and won yeah. all the majors. Yep, yep. Um, we've gone from the wound ball to the rubber core solid core ball. Right, right. And so you can see with the rubber process, we got four chemicals and you mix it into this raw polybutadiene rubber. Mm -hmm. You mix it up, you uh, roll it out into a sheet, then you roll it into a, a plug and extrude it, mm -hmm. and then you compression mold it, you apply heat and pressure, and then you grind it down. Sure. Well, with the resin material that we developed with DuPont for the past five years, we just purchased the material from DuPont, we add a little bit of coloring, and we inject the core, and it's right there. And so what this does is this makes for a 54% uh, more consistent product. So. Because of all these inconsistencies that can occur during this mixing and stuff, mm -hmm. you get a, a little bit different in, in uh, compression and weight right. that this excels at. So the other other benefit of this this material is that it's lighter weight. So the resin material is lighter than water, urethanes and rubbers are heavier. Right. And so by putting that in the center of the core, we're able to perimeter weight the ball. And so this is the highest MOI golf ball that has ever been produced as far as a conforming ball goes. Right, right. And so what MOI does is it helps reduce spin off the driver. So, um, you know, we're about 6% higher MOI than some of the leading competitors at this category. Mm -hmm. And 6% means 180 driver spin reduction just from MOI wow. alone. Wow, wow. Yeah, but it, in the air, what it does is it continues to spin. So it resists that air friction. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the trajectory, you get more lift. So it'll come in shallower, it'll carry longer. Nice. And really what we're hearing is the, from the biggest benefit is into the wind. So right. into the wind or a crosswind, the ball's not going to be affected as much. Cool. Some of the other benefits of MOI is that it's going to stop more on the green, so it's going to bite. Mm -hmm. um, and trueness on your putts. Nice. But Oops. really, uh, really the biggest benefit from this product is the ball speed. So this is the first ball designed to, to work with the trampoline effect of the driver. So before we were using these really fast materials around the outside of the ball. Right. Um, but when you think about the trampoline effect of the driver, if you were jumping as soon as you touched the trampoline, it's not really the way to, to get more height, right? Mm -hmm. You want to jump at the peak deformation of the trampoline. Right. And so by timing it, uh, putting it in the inside of the core, we're timing it with that, and we're able to get two to three miles per hour faster ball speed than a traditional rubber core.